Hello and welcome back to the Bad Back Gardener. For today's project I'm going to be uh, doing some mildew stripping. I, when I made my pergola and my fences last year, uh, some of the wood wasn't apparently dried out as much as it should have been. So after I stained it, uh, there's certain sections that I did last year that have developed mildew. And I want to get rid of that so I can put another coat of stain on, kind of brighten it up. So the product we're going to use to do that is this Olympic deck cleaner. It's called Premium Deck Cleaner. But it's basically, it's for uh, prior to staining, but it removes the dirt. It's supposed to remove dirt and mildew. So we're going to be trying that out today. It's supposed to be a no scrub formula. So you're supposed to be able to just put it on and then spray it off and it's supposed to work. Uh, I may end up doing a little bit of scrubbing because I want to make sure I try and get as much of the much of the mildew, the darkness off these so I can brighten them up. But that's what I'm going to use. We'll see how it works. And uh, I'm going to, it tells you to use a sprayer, but what I'm going to be doing today is like the top rungs of these pergola. Those are the ones that seem to have mildewed the most. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to put on some rubber gloves and use a brush and try it that way because I'm afraid it just I'll get a lot of runoff and a lot of overspray that I don't need to. So I'm going to use a brush or a, yeah, a brush to put it on and we'll go from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to remove the swing and all the other stuff from underneath the pergolas because I'm going to be spraying it off here. cleared out. So now what I'm going to do is I got some rubber gloves here. I got some, an old towel and like an old scrubbing thing in case I do want to scrub. I'll use those. Uh, what I've done is taken an old one gallon milk carton here and that's what I'm going to use. Cut the corner of it out and left the handle on. That's what I'm going to use for pour my stuff in to put my brush in and dip it. So we'll go ahead and get started on that. As you can see, I'm done some old ugly clothes today, so I'm not looking real spiffy today. Uh, uh, so I don't want to get this splattered on my good clothes and stuff. So I've, I've got some old ugly, ugly stuff on, and that's what I'm going to use to do it here. And I'm actually going to get started up here, and we'll we'll start with this one and we'll work our way back to that one and this stuff has to stay on for five to ten minutes is what it wants to it tells you to stay leave it on before you spray it off so we'll try that the posts here are not bad it's just the top top rungs going across to anything that are got some mildew on so we'll go ahead and get started
get that all on. It, it brightened it up considerably. I have to spray it off now. Uh, some of the dark spots it left, but we'll see how it, how it goes when I spray here. I don't have my mic on because I don't want it to get all wet while I'm spraying. So that's what I'm going to do now is spray. Spray what I just put on completely off. They want you to rinse it really good. Okay, that's about a wrap on that. Uh, the product, it, it worked good, it brightened it up. Uh, it left some darker spots that may just be in a stain in the wood. It did not completely brighten them up, it left some, a little bit of darker spots. Now I could have probably taken, taken a uh, power washer and, and washed it. That would have probably taken off all the old stain and everything. But I, I didn't want to do that, that's why I tried this product. I, I wanted to leave some of the stain that was already there. I just wanted to brighten it up. So it worked It worked pretty good. I wouldn't give it an A, but it, it worked pretty good. Uh, there again, I was brushing it on, wasn't spraying it. So, uh, But the brush, when I was brushing it, sometimes that basically helped scrub some of, the, some of the stuff off. But it did take off a lot of the mildew. And that's what I wanted. So as you can see, the product is pretty much bleach with something else mixed in apparently because it just was bleaching my shirt out every time I got splashed so that's why you want to wear old clothes and then uh, so that's about it I'll do it for this video if your back ain't hurting you ain't working